hungry and so cold. I can't believe it's me here being homeless with my little baby in my belly. What am I gonna do? I need some food, but I have no money. I think I have to go and beg on the street. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> my parents don't love me. They kicked me out. My boyfriend is just always out with his friends and he doesn't care about me. And my brother, well, he just doesn't understand me at all. <laughs> I can't believe I have nobody. <laughs> Okay, I better go start begging people for money because I need to buy some food to feed me and my baby. Excuse me, sir. I need spare change for the homeless. Sorry, lady. Um, I got no change. Move along now. Um, that's okay. Anybody has spare change for the homeless, please? I'm pregnant and I'm hungry. Excuse me. Any change for the homeless? Please help me out, guys. Anything would do. Any spare change for the homeless, please. I'm really hungry and cold. Sorry, little girl, but we got no change. Um, that's okay, sir. You enjoy your pizza. <laughs> what am I going to do? Nobody is giving me any money. I can't do this anymore. Oh, I think I need to steal some pizza to feed myself. And I need some water and I'm so cold. <laughs> Alex, Alex, where are you? Alex. I need spare change for the homeless, guys. I'm Alex, hungry. I need spare you. change. Where are you? I'm not going to tell you. Leave me alone. Wherever Alex. you are. Alex, I can hear you. Come on, come on, come Any out. Where are you? Any spare change for the homeless, guys. Excuse me, sir. Any spare change? No. Alex, Steve, what are you get doing? get away from me unless you have some coins for me. I'm really hungry. I bought you a sandwich. There you go. Oh, yum. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, that was so delicious. Thank you. Um, do Stop you have spare city. change? It's time to go home. you got to come home. Come on. I'm Stop not coming city. home. There's no way. I'm gonna beg for money and get myself an, an apartment or something. And well, it's you're not gonna get an apartment for begging for money. You're only gonna make a few dollars every day. You're gonna spend that on food, and that's gonna be it. You're gonna be living on the street. I mean, where are you even living? Mm, do you wanna see my new house? It's yeah, just get a new house. Cool. Yeah, it's a new mansion. It's so big and so amazing. You're gonna be so jealous of me. How did you get yourself a new house already? You've been living on the you'll streets see. for like three days. You'll see. You'll see. It's a brand new Alex house. I got myself a bed and stuff. Look. Alex, this is not a house. This is cardboard boxes with a bit no. of hay bed inside and a candle. Yeah, but it's nice. It's you don't even have a door. Me. I mean, someone could just come in and just rob you or beat you up yeah, at night time. Yeah, there's actually a robber just over here. But hey, dude. His name is actually Brian. He knows that I have no money, so he's not <gasps> gonna rob me. He's don't be scared. He's actually nice. He only robs rich people, so don't worry about that. I'm oh, definitely not rich anyway. But look, mom and dad are kind of sorry about what happened. Kind of sorry. To come home as well. Yeah. Excuse me. Kind of sorry is not good enough, Steve. They threw me out of the house when they knew that I'm pregnant, and they told me I'm not allowed to see my boyfriend, the father of my child. Yeah, but that guy's really bad news anyway. You don't want to be hanging out with him. I think you just have the baby on your own. I'm going to help you out. And mom and dad are as well. Come on, just go home. Let's uh, no talk way. to mom and dad. Let's figure things out. And then maybe we can just uh, all be happy again. No, I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to tell me that I'm not allowed to see Johnny. But that's not going to happen. I love him, okay? And whether you like it or not, me and him are going to be Alex, together forever and ever. What are you talking about? You're living on the street. Where is he? How is he leaving you out here? I mean, he should be here with you or he should be back at his house. I don't think that he knows that I'm on the street. I mean, I was trying to call him for the past two days, but he's just not answering. I think maybe he lost his phone or maybe no. he's in a hospital or something bad happened. He didn't lose his phone. He's just a bad guy. He knows you're pregnant and he just left you out here on your own in the brain in a cardboard box. What? Don't say that, Steve, please. He loves me. You just don't know him the way I know him. He has the nicest heart ever. Excuse me, sir. Um, any spare change here for the homeless? No, no, girl, I got no change. Get away from me. Oh, all the people are so mean. I think I stink. Maybe that's the problem. I'm just no, going to go into the pond. They don't want to give their money to somebody else. They want to spend it on themselves. So you got to come home and you got to earn some money, okay? We can do the fruit and veg. No, you, you guys are evil. I'm not George. going home. There's no way. What are you that's doing it. in there? I'm Dirty having pond. a shower. Alex, you can't have a shower in there. It's like dirty water. No, it's actually pretty nice. All the nice. dogs and the cats, they just pee in that water. And the oh, stop. 
that's kind of true. Ew, that's disgusting. Okay, maybe I need to go into a lake or something like that. Well, the lake's over this way, but why don't you just come home and have a shower in the house? Okay, what exactly did mom and dad tell you? Because I feel like they they're going to trick me. They just said they feel bad because of what happened and they, my dad just got really angry. And it's not because of you or the baby, it's because of your boyfriend. They just don't like him because he smashed up the house and he stole the TV and he's a bad influence. Okay, well, the only way I'm coming home is if daddy allows me to see my boyfriend. And Johnny should be allowed to come into my room and spend as much time with me as he likes. And well, also, you got to come home first and you got to figure all this out with dad and with mom. you got to talk to them and see if they're going to be able to deal with that. Okay, fine. I guess you're right. Maybe I'm overreacting. I just love Johnny so much. I can't believe parents don't like him. It's my decision and not yours, guys. So all of you should just mind your own business. What do you mean you can't believe mom and dad don't like him? He smashed up the house and he stole um, the TV. Okay, Steve. That guy's bad news. He did apologize and he did give mommy some flowers and uh, a cake. Where's the TV? He stole it, probably. I know, but uh, yeah, he did sell it actually. He told me he sold it, but he was really sorry about it. So, I mean, that's a good sign, right? I don't know. Look, at least you're Mom, home now anyway. Dad, Wait. I'm home. Alex, come here. What? Listen to me. I'm just going to go in here and no fighting, okay? Just talk to mom and dad real calmly. Let's figure things out and no more screaming at each other, right? Okay, fine. I promise. I promise. I guess being here is better than living on the streets. At least here I'm going to be warm in a comfortable bed with some nice food, right? Yeah, of course. And look, you've got that little house at the back if you want to go stay out there. Or you can stay upstairs in your own bedroom, wherever okay, you want. Okay, well, thank you, Steve, for persuading me. I mean, I could have still be homeless, but I don't think I will be anymore. Okay, let's find mom and dad. I need to talk to them. And I guess I have to kind of say sorry as well. Knock, knock. Daddy, can I talk to you, please? Of course, Alex. Come on inside. Um, hi, Dad. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for being so rude and disrespectful to you guys and I'm um, running away. It's okay. Look, we had a bit of a fight and we both lost our tempers, but at least you're back now when you're okay. You've got this big house to live in. You've got that little house in the back if you want to stay there as well. And I really want you to stay home and have the baby here, okay? But uh, Daddy, what about Johnny? I know you guys don't like him, but I love him so much. And this is his baby, Daddy. I want to live with him. This is the right thing to do. I'm not going to lie, okay? I don't like that guy one bit. He's a bad influence, and I think bad things are going to happen around him. But I understand that he's the father of the baby, so I've made the decision with your mom. We've decided that we're going to build you a brand new house at the back there. <gasps> a really big one with everything you want. But as long as you get married to Johnny, and then you can both live in there. What? Oh my gosh, Daddy, thank you, thank you. This is the best news ever. Johnny actually wanted you to build us a house. He will be so, so happy. I can't wait to let him know, but I'm, I'm not sure about the wedding. I mean, isn't it too soon to get married? It's a big commitment. Well, it is, but you're having a baby together, and apparently you love each other, so you might as well get married, and... We're going to build you a big house, throw a nice wedding, and then you're going to live happily ever after back there. And we'll be all close together, okay? Oh, Daddy, this is the best thing ever. I'm so, so happy. Thank you so much for being so amazing. I'm going to go and try find Johnny, Daddy, and tell him the good news. Okay, you go give him a ring, let him know, and you know what? Maybe we'll have the wedding uh, tomorrow. <gasps> that would be amazing! I hope he doesn't freak out though. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay because I do know that Johnny really, really loves me. So we're gonna get married and then you guys are gonna build us a nice big mansion. And Johnny is gonna be so happy. Wow, I cannot believe this. This is such a great news. I better call Johnny and ask him to meet me. I just hope that he will pick up. Okay, it's ringing. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Johnny. Um, it's Alex here. I have some great news for you. Oh, hey, Alex. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't call you back the last couple of days. I was just real busy. I was playing computer games the whole time, and I was partying with my friends. Um, that's no problem at all, Johnny. Um, can you meet me in a few minutes beside the lake? I have to tell you something really important. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. I can take, like, an hour break. Maybe we can get some ice cream. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Okay, see you there. See you later. Bye. bye. Oh, 
gosh, he's gonna meet me. I'm so, so happy that mom and dad are finally being nice to me and are willing to make a big wedding for us and build us a house. This is gonna be the beginning of the great life that me and Johnny and our baby are gonna have together. Now I have to hurry and meet him and tell him the great news. Oh, hey, Alex, what's going on? Oh, Johnny, you made it. Thank you so much for meeting me. No problem. Look, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I got you some ice cream, man. I'm really sorry, okay? Um, Johnny, I don't really like strawberry ice cream. You know that this is the worst ice cream ever. What are you talking about? Strawberry's delicious. I got chocolate. Do you want some of that? Mm, I'd love some chocolate. Yes, please. Okay, here you go. You can have my chocolate as well. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, I have some amazing news. Yeah, what's going on? Um, I was speaking to my dad and he said that he's going to build us a big house for me and you and the baby. That's awesome. I knew your dad would get lots of money and he's going to build us something cool. That's so awesome. Well, actually, he doesn't have loads of money, but he's just a good builder, you know. He does everything himself from scratch. But there's one condition, Johnny. The only way that me and you can move in together is if we get married. What? You want us yeah. to get married? Are you crazy? I mean, but, Alex, we're so young and we barely know each other. And I know, you, but you Johnny... We okay. don't even live together yet. You want to get married? Yeah, but that's how they do it. You have to get married and then you have a baby, Johnny. And uh, we love each other, don't we? So either we get married now or in a few years, it doesn't matter. But I'd prefer yeah, to get married I mean, now. I guess we do, but you know, we're still so young and, and I don't know if this is such a good idea. Why don't we just live together for a little bit? We have the baby and then we figure it out. No, I don't think my daddy will let us happen. If we don't get uh, if we don't get married, he won't build us a house. Don't you understand? Uh, yeah, don't I you guess... love me, Johnny? Do you not want to get married? I do, Alex. I do love you. I, and, and the baby's going to be awesome. But, you know, it's just such a big decision. And, and, and moving in together and, and getting married and having a baby all at the same time is just a little bit crazy. But that's the way it happens, Johnny. Everybody does it. It's called life. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess if we're getting a house and we're having a okay, baby, it's probably a good down. idea. Okay, just don't freak out. I think this is a good thing. And my daddy kind of wants us to get married tomorrow, so maybe what? you should tomorrow? tell your parents about me and about the baby and that me and you are getting married, yeah? Oh, okay, okay. I'll go home and I'll tell my parents and uh, invite them to the wedding tomorrow, but it's such <laughs> a lot of stuff to organize. Who's going to organize it? Um, don't worry about it. I'm going to organize everything with Steve. He's going to help me. So it's going to be fine. Just show up tomorrow with your parents to the altar and the priest is going to get us married. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll, I'll go home now. I'll organize everything and, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye, Johnny. I love you bye. so much. Bye. 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 Don't freak out. Steve, Steve, I have some great news. Alex, what's happening? Where did you go? It's looking for you all over the place. Uh, I was talking to Johnny and guess what? He broke up with you and you're really upset. Really? Really? Do I look upset? No, you, you don't look upset. You can only see joy in my eyes. We are getting married. What do you mean you're getting married? You can't be <laughs> getting married. You're crazy. Dad's going to flip out and go mad and you're never going to get married mm, to him. Well, actually, it was Daddy's idea. Daddy what? said he's going to build us a big, nice mansion. Just that like this That means that Daddy's one. gone crazy and lost his mind because he wants you to marry that bad guy and build you a big, huge house. Excuse me, he's not a bad guy, okay? You know what? Sometimes I think maybe you're jealous. You want to be like Johnny, but you can't because you're not cool I don't cool want to enough. be like him. He's a big bully and he's really mean to me all the time. And you know what? He's a stealer, he's a graffiti artist, and he's just a bad guy. Mm. No, he is not. He actually loves me and respects me, and I love him back. So Where are you he's even gonna, gonna get be married. Where are you getting married? Just over here. We're gonna get married here, and guess what? He's gonna be your brother-in-law. Isn't that amazing? Oh, no, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna also, call him brother. No way, I'm calling him brother. I was thinking. Um. Okay, hold up, hold up. Where's that flower? I got it. Okay, Steve. I wanted to ask you. Will you be my bridesmaids? No, I won't be your bridesmaid. You see, go get your own friends and have your own bridesmaids. It's not going to oh, be me. Oh, I don't have any friends. Please accept those flowers and then you'll be my bridesmaids. Yay, you accepted. Oh. Go down there again. Okay, well, not if happening. you don't want to be my bridesmaids, can you still help me organize the wedding? Because it's kind of tomorrow. Oh, 
my gosh, look, if you want to marry this guy, then go ahead and marry him. You can ruin your own life if you want to ruin it, but when you do, don't come crying to me and saying, oh, you were right, you were right, he's such a bad guy. Don't worry, I won't come crying to you. You know why? Because nothing bad is ever going to happen. We're going to be a happy family and soon enough, I'm going to have a baby and it's going to be the most beautiful baby in the whole entire world and you are going to be an uncle. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah, okay, okay. It's pretty amazing that I'm going to be an uncle, but your wedding's going to be come crazy. On. You know what? It's you probably not even going to show me. up. Of course he'll show up. He was really happy. He just went home and he has to tell his parents about me and me being pregnant and us getting married. There's yeah, so, see, so much. He hasn't even told his parents yet that you're having a baby with him. That's how much he cares about you. Mm, I think they're just really, really strict parents and maybe they he's just scared. That's all. I mean, look at me. our parents. Our parents overreacted, but I'm sure his parents are going to meet me and they're going to love me and then they're going to give us their blessing. Mm, okay, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow because we got a lot to organize today. You gotta okay, get a cake, Steve, and you gotta get a dress. You gotta, you gotta stop get food. being so negative, okay? Just stop being negative. It's gonna be fine. Either you're gonna help me and be positive about the whole thing, or just don't help me at all, alright? Okay, come on, I'm gonna help you. You gotta get a cake first. Let's Yay, go. Yay! Cake time! You know what? You can choose your own cake. Just choose whatever cake you want because ah, I just fell over! I'm going to order you a wedding cake, Sidney. I'm not going to get any other type of cake. Mm, well, it doesn't have to be a uh, normal we wedding cake. We need to get a, a wedding cake and we need it uh, tomorrow. Can I'm we have it to, made of chocolate? Please chocolate, please. Chocolate. Also, um, you kind of need to get some more produce here. Like, there used to be lots of cakes around and now there's nothing. So, get yourself together, mister. Bye. Okay, got to get you a dress now as well. Come on, dress, dress. time. Wedding dress. Um, I was thinking maybe I oh, should wait. wear something different. Hello, sir. We need all the stuff for a wedding tomorrow. We need lights and we need candles. Fairy uh, lights. Flower pots and tables and chairs. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, guys. This is so exciting. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to turn into an adult. I'm going to be a married wife with a baby on the way. This is my dream come true, Steve. Oh, it's pretty crazy. You know what? As long as you're happy, but... I'm not gonna pretend. I think it's a bad idea. Okay, don't say that. Don't say that. Hi, sir. Tomorrow I'm getting married. So I would like to order a nice wedding dress, please. It has to be white and really long and really beautiful. And I am pregnant, so make sure it's really stretchy at the belly area, all right? Okay, Alex, come on. You've got Thank everything you, ordered. Bye. You've got the dress, you've got the food, you've got the decorations, you've got the wedding cake, so. I guess you better head back flowers. and start putting it together now. We forgot you ordered flowers. I need a nice bouquet, you silly. Okay, Let's go okay, over okay. here to the flower guy. Get yourself she some flowers. Have some amazing, yeah, those ones, blue ones. I remember this is the first ever bouquet I ever got from Johnny. Aren't they beautiful? They're really pretty. I like those flowers. Hi, sir. Put it on my like daddy's him. tab. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, we have everything. Let's go home and organize this really, really bad idea of a wedding for you. No, stop it. Steve, this is going to be incredible. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get married and I'm going to be the happiest girl alive. And Johnny is going to be your brother. This is going to be amazing. And trust me, with time, you're going to learn to love him. He's actually a really cool guy. Alex, I knew this was a bad idea. That guy's not even going to show up. He will show up. He's just a little bit late. Look, his parents are there. That means he's coming as well, all right? Stop making me so worried. I know, I know, I know. But he's supposed to be here before you. You're supposed to show up late, not him. And I mean, his mom and dad are here. Our mom and dad are here. The priest is here and he's still not here. I know, but maybe the traffic is bad or he's a bit, a uh, little bit nervous. It's going to be fine. I promise. Just, just stop talking to me and just wait for him, okay? He will show up any minute now. Alex, Alex, I'm so sorry. I'm late. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. That's okay, Johnny. I knew you were going to make it. Wow, you look so nice. You look absolutely beautiful. I love your dress. It looks amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, go to the altar and I'm going to walk down, all right? Okay, yeah, I think I'm in the right position now. <laughs> awesome. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah, we're all ready. Come on. <laughs> Oh, this is so amazing. Oh, I'm the happiest girl alive. Welcome, everybody, to the wedding of Teenage Alex and Teenage Johnny. We're gathered here today to celebrate their union. Now, young Alex, repeat after me. I, Alex, I, take Alex. Johnny to be my lawfully wedded husband. 
Hi, Alex. Take Johnny to be my lovely wedded husband. And Johnny, repeat after me. I take Alex to be my lovely wedded wife. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I take Alex to be my lovely wedded wife. Well, now, guys, I can now pronounce you man and wife, and you may kiss the bride. Yay! Awesome. That's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't oh believe this. Gosh. I can't believe we actually got married. This is so cute. I know. This is amazing, Johnny. We're going to be so happy together. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to our wedding. There's loads of cake at the back. Now, let's thanks, celebrate. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, thanks, Steve's Mom and Dad. And uh, thanks, little Steve, little bro. But uh, we're going to have a, such a great time now. And we're going to have an awesome house and a little baby, too.